Welcome to today's show. As you all know, we really enjoy taking disabled hunters out into the field and showing them a good time hunting. So that's exactly what Kristen and David are going to do today. Hunting is dependent on passing it on to others. The benefits are way better than you killing the bird or the buck. Passing it on outdoors is brought to you by Agri Supply, more than a farm store. James River Equipment, serving the Carolinas with 30 full service locations. Limb Saver, high end materials, high end performance. Battle Box, survival and tactical gear delivered monthly. Tiger Tail, get hooked. Incognito Mosquito, something bugging you, go incognito. And handsofasportsman.org, inspire, motivate, overcome. You know, when I was a kid, my dad and I went to Agri Supply every single week, just the two of us. Now it's trips with my boy that I have to look forward to. Agri Supply has over 26,000 products for your farm, shop, and home, including ag and tillage, lawn and garden, trailers and truck accessories, hunting and cooking supplies, and over 250,000 mower blades, just to name a few. Now, over 53 years later, the company has grown, but one thing hasn't changed, and that's the way they do business. AgriSupply still believes in old-fashioned, friendly customer service and offering quality products at the most competitive prices. I guess you could say it's a family tradition. Visit your local AgriSupply for all your farm, shop, and home needs, or visit online at www.agrisupply.com. Scott, you don't sit still and you will never kill any birds. These mosquitoes. Here. Try that. What's this? It's incognito mosquito. It repels gnats, mosquitoes, spiders, and ticks. You'll cool. thank me later. Let's kill a bird. Let's go. Something bugging you? Go incognito. is brought to you by BattleBox. Survival and tactical gear delivered monthly. So every year we go down and we document a deer hunt and Matt has decided to put on a turkey hunt. So we generally go down and help him. This is the first year that actually Hands of the Sportsman is involved with this. I'm with Scott Winkler today, he's from Georgia. He's an Iraq War veteran and the man absolutely loves the turkey hunt. And I'm hoping we can get him on a big bird. We are leaving now. Ah, 
I'm like, man, what in the world happened? Is this the game warden or something? Mm -hmm. Hey, where's the rest of the crew? This is it. This is it. Let me go tell them to be quiet. <laughs> They don't know where they didn't know where we were, where we were going. So. I know. All right, listen. My truck's on the top of the hill. I want you to go up to the top of the hill. These pines kind of wrap around. As soon as you see the field to the right, just kind of wiggle across that ditch. Stay to the right. Go all the way at the end of the field. Your blinds on the right. So as a turkey hunter, in the, you know, once it gets past three o'clock in the afternoon, I don't have much faith in other than locating a bird for the next morning. So pretty skeptical when we go in there, but you know, we're about 15 minutes into this hunt and bird starts hitting the slate call. And I mean, bam, we got two gobblers gobbling and it appears they're on the way. I've always dreamed of owning my own business, but it takes a lot of work to make a dream come true. Luckily, my John Deere dealer made it easy. My 3E tractor handles every job I needed to without breaking a sweat. And the money I saved lets me know I'm doing something right. The 3E, own yours today for just $135 a month. Hurry into James River Equipment, home with a 10-year tractor warranty. Visit jamesriverequipment.com. Getting the most out of your ATV, whether for work or play, is satisfying and fun. To do that, you need the right tool. Visualize a winch, only dynamic. Tiger Tail Tow System is a self-retracting spool of durable line that maintains constant tension and self-stores. It's easy to install and use, no wiring, and it's fast. Have fun getting more done with Tiger Tail Tow System. Get hooked at tigertail.us the hands of a sportsman is making dreams come true and providing opportunities for people both young and old with disabilities that present challenges for them to enjoy the outdoors. In short, we're creating an advantage for the disadvantaged. For some, if not all, the great outdoors breaks the struggles of everyday life and provides opportunities we all need. To become a mentor, a volunteer, or to donate, log on to handsofasportsman.org and help make a difference today.
This segment is brought to you by Rev Arms. Precision every time. So welcome back to today's show. We're in Central North Carolina with the Wheeling Sportsman Disabled Turkey Hunt. This is our second year. I'm with Scott Winkler. Scott has got two big birds, 20 yards, blowed up, and I'm hoping he can get this done. That's what it's talking about. <laughs> Pass it on, baby. Pass it on Outdoor yeah, TV. Out. Thank you, Bert. I appreciate it, man. Come on. Come on. Get this bird out. I'm going to grab him up by his leg bone. And I'm going to put him in your lap bone. <laughs> Come on. Come on. God. What are you waiting on? Oh, my gosh, dude. Look at the feathers Dude, everywhere. Look at the spur on that bird. Be careful, don't let him jab. He'll be bleeding. Look at it. Look at that. It's beautiful. This is, I tell you, this is the biggest one I've ever had. Mm. Look at the look waddle at the, on that sucker, man. You done deflated his waddle. <laughs> look at the size of the beard. Good lord. 20, Not from the hair of my chinny chin chin. Mm. Okay. And them spurs, man. I'm telling you, those are inch and a half spurs. Look at that. Look how sharp they are too. Ooh. We did it again, huh, babe? Mm. My lucky charm right there, I'm telling you. Thank you, David. Thank you, Pass It On Outdoors, for uh, filming this hunt. Couldn't have done it better without you guys. Bird. Yes, sir, baby. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for yes, calling sir. him. And awesome. Take me to a good place, setting up the blind. I'm telling you, even it's a warm day, but I tell you what, that, that shotgun was hot. We blessed, ain't we? Oh, we very blessed. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir, buddy. Thank you to everybody. Matt, for having, this, farms. having the disabled hunts for us to get out here and show we can still get it done no matter what, what we are in a chair, amputees or whatever. We're out here having a good time in God's great country. Thank you so much. So today I'm with Gail Sharp. Gail lives in Taylorsville, North Carolina. He is a Vietnam veteran. And really all the, this hunt really is credited to Guy Mundy and some of his friends. They've taken Gail under their wing and kind of started taking him hunting. Uh, got him a deer in deer season. Now it's turkey season, so we're at Matt's place for the disabled hunt, and I'm hoping Gil can get it done today. So we get Gail all set up in this blind man. We got him tucked back in the corner of a field and they've been seeing a lot of birds. So they start calling, we, we, I mean, just immediately we get a gobble just, I mean, a couple hundred yards in the woods and we sit there and we sit there and we sit there and it, he never shows himself. So we started calling and started calling and next thing we know we turn around, man, we got a bearded hen on a rope coming straight to our decoy setup.
So Gil shoots this bird, man. It flies straight up and just lands right in the field. And I'm thinking, we might have another chance to connect with this hen. So shot number two didn't connect like we thought it was, and this bird flies up and goes about 50 yards and lights right back down in the field. So Tim and Guy decide they're going to be the search party. They're going out to try to find this bird. But what happened next, we didn't see coming. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look. I don't know if I can just, if I can just get her. How'd you like that, Gil? <laughs> it was a melody. That old drive on the front of the Got right behind it. We got, we got. When I was eating going to woods, I was eating him down. They got a pretty nice beer on it, Gil. She does. Yeah. Or she does. Pretty nice beer. I pulled a few tail feathers out. I hope you can get them for that. What happened to yourself, okay? What? <laughs> I done, I done been plucking on him for you. Little I, gal lived a rough life. He was about to, she was about to live, but. Just about. Yeah. That's bearded, a nice bird. Bearded hen. Mission oh, accomplished. We've hunted hard, ain't we, Gil? Yeah. Sure. <coughs> thanks to Tim Hines, too. And thanks to oh, Lee there. and David Hines. Thanks to Lee, all you got to bring me out here and let me have a yes. <coughs> That's right. He's got a trophy there. Yes, sir. They don't miss. All right. That's, they, a lot of people don't kill a bearded hen. That's the first time I've ever seen one. Was it about five or six hits? Yeah. That's a good deal. Passing it on outdoors is brought to you by J and S Sense. You can't beat the heat. Lucky Buck Minerals. Bigger bucks guaranteed. Hunter Safety Systems. Saving lives is what we do. Rev Arms, precision every time. And Atlanta Kitchens, serving the Grand Strand area for 25 years. Let us make your dream kitchen a reality. This segment of Passionate On Outdoors is brought to you by Atlantic Kitchens, serving the Carolinas for over 20 years. Contact Mike Dixon or any of the fine folks at Atlantic Kitchens for all of your kitchen and bath needs. Check them out at AtlanticKitchen.com. So today I'm with Jeff Fredrickson and we're with Barrett Eatman on his farm in Aquadale, North Carolina. The first evening when we went out to his farm, um, you know, I could tell that there's a lot of turkeys on this farm, but they're, they're just, they weren't being vocal at all. Um, we did a lot of riding uh, on his side by side. We, we did a lot of walking. Uh, the thing about Jeff is he's, he's an Iraqi vet. Um, and he's not disabled to the point where he's in a wheelchair and he can get around pretty good. So even though we, we, we didn't have a lot of success the, the first evening, I mean, we, we had two or three setups that, that didn't produce anything. Uh, Barrett had told me that he had a blind set up and, and we, we didn't even go in that area that evening uh, because he knew that, that it would be a really good morning hunt. So that's where we're starting out this next morning. Two or three mornings. It was settled that mule right yonder. And 
even though in this blind we could see a long ways away, we, we weren't seeing any birds. There was a lot of birds gobbling in all, a lot of different directions. We just couldn't see them. Uh, and wasn't, wasn't too awful long into the hunt where Jeff saw a bird on way away from us. Um, so we started watching him and he was sort of working his way to us, but we really couldn't tell that he was actually coming. He dropped down in this hole in this field and, and the next time he popped up, he was 20 yards from us. Could you, could you get him? All I had was the top of his head. Well, I, I had this much more room <laughs> to go. I know it's a joke, but. Hey, it's a turkey. <laughs> it's a dead turkey. Uh, I've seen the fellas fly out of there. I was like, well, I better not pass that up, man. You know you what done, I mean? You done exactly what I'd have done. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you what, I can't believe you still popped the gun out with him standing that close to you right what? now. He was, I mean, he wasn't 15 yards and you popped the gun out the window and just put it up on him. <laughs> I felt comfortable enough to do it like he wasn't, he was so interested or whatever. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I bet we need to see what you got on the Let's ground. Go look at him. I'm very excited that I got one. Uh, it's really, it's only my second turkey I ever got. I got one last year here at Will and Sportsman. And, uh, you know, I can't thank Matt Berenger and uh, his family enough for what they've done, you know, as a new member of the community. We've been here about a year and a half. Uh, it's, you know, you just get to know a lot of the local community and it's just a good thing that they do and I'd like to thank Barrett Eatman for bringing me out here and you know devoting his time and place and and killing a, a beautiful bird. Proud of you. You've done a good job. It's, uh, not that the pressure hadn't been on me. Exciting part is you spotted the bird first. You, it was your hunt. It was about all about you getting one. You spotted the bird first. He come in. You made the call to shoot it. You waited to got in uh, position and you shot it, so I'm hey, I'm proud of it. Thank, man. thank you, you. I appreciate it. This, this these hunts with Matt Beringer, um, you know, the, these guys thank us every time we're there. But the reality of it is, when you when you get behind the camera or just get with these people, the pleasure you get from being around new people every year is just phenomenal for me. And and that really is truly what I enjoy about these hunts is is meeting new people and seeing the drive that they have for the outdoors. Don't miss next week's show. We're in Central North Carolina. We've got some great disabled deer hunts. It's a show you don't want to miss. You did good. You did good.